Oh my goody goody, oh my god, why do they try to get blocked so bad? Oh my goody goody, oh my god, behave. Oh my goody goody, oh my god, I'm just trying to do love tarot. Call me Cupid with a bow and arrow, behave, y'all. Want to get you blocked on this channel? <sighs> Using my channel instead of therapy or not watching your mouth when you're trying to talk to me or not having the common sense that we need to see. And the rest of the jingle, keep your cool on my channel, please. Don't act the fool on my channel, please, cause it's a block, 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 block kind of day, and I will block, 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 block you right away. Let's get started. Day 17 of the 30-day tarot challenge. This means one tarot video a day for 30 days. Um, you know, challenges are good because they keep you honest, keep you accountable, um, what brutally honest messages hmm, does your person have for you? Okay, right off the bat, Capricorn, your person is telling you that, you know, things have been in limbo, um, but they see you. You know what I mean? Just like the whole Candy Nini, I see you. Well, I don't know if you watch that stuff anymore, but they see you. They're very well aware of what has been in limbo, but they're reminding you that you're still in their wish fulfillment this is wish fulfillment um and you know they're just trying to make a decision that's very hard something seems very hard for them to make a decision about so whatever it is that you may have recently talked about or thought about if you've not been in contact with them yeah they're just trying to tell you hey can you hang on please hang on hang on uh look this is the queen of cups so this is all cups just coming out now, telling me that, listen, they're still thinking of you, six of cups, memories, going back to think about you, benevolent mother of love. This is the queen of love. Uh, so this represents, especially at their heart, okay? Nine of cups, queen of cups. This represents somebody who's telling you, even if you two are at a standstill, even if you've said harsh words to each other, they're staying strong. So this is a wink of a message to a lot of you. They're saying, I don't even want to be brutal. I know that you're going to watch Brutally Honest Messages every Sunday on this channel, but I don't want to be brutal to you. What I want to tell you is that you are still part of my wish fulfillment. Somebody cut somebody off for sure, or is not speaking to them. And if it's not that, then you two got into a competition, right? Two queens there, a war of words, uh, you know, um, you know, if not a war of words, then something is making this person overthink. You may have used language. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's something that was said. You may have used language that caused this person to pause and say, do you know what? Let me weigh something. Let me, let me think about this uh, decision because as m as much as I have feelings for you, something you said has broken me. So Capricorn, I don't know what you said. I don't know what you've done. I don't know what they've done to you, but somebody here was broken by words. And this person is just giving you a wink and saying, yes, I know that was tough, but look what's coming, a new beginning, the full card. You know, it's they want to just wipe the slate clean. You know, they want to recover um, from whatever damage, whatever, you know, kept you to sort of inwards. They're inwards right now because they're still thinking about it. This is the hermit. This is the eight of swords. For some of you, you know, I think they're thinking about a plan to make you feel loved. I was just about to say that. You're going to have an outpour of emotion from this person soon. Um, especially if they were in and out, or especially if you guys, when you guys first met, it was very fiery. Like, look at that. Look at that chemistry. Look at that victory card. In and out, passionate night. You know, this person is maturing, right? This knight is not as mature as this king or this queen. Sorry for shaking the camera. This knight is maturing and saying, I have these emotions for you. These are divine counterparts. They belong together. You are my wish fulfillment. I want this brand new beginning. 
I know something here was broken. Somebody cut somebody off. Or if not that, there was competitive energy that's making this person overthink memories of you. Very gentle memories now. But just trying to regain their balance and their strength because something hurts here. And that's why they've been silent. Okay, so that's your brutally honest message. Aquarius, what is the brutally honest message from your person to you? What do they want to say to you right now? Okay, for some of you, um, somebody's saying uh, they think you're cute, okay? Um, something you did, you know, was really cute, and they want to apologize because the way they responded to that cuteness, that thing that you said or did, that text, that message that you, you tried to send, that, you know, in which you attempted to be cute, they didn't really respond back in a way that you would have expected. You know, you thought that they would have said more, done more, reacted a little bit, you know, <laughs> in more gratitude or with more gratitude. And they kind of just gave you just a little bit, you know, or even nothing at all. And so that's been bothering them. You know, they kind of want to clear the air there with that Ace of Swords. Um, they want to make sure that, you know, you guys have that conversation again, you see, the, the cards are just like, wow, they really, the stories snap into themselves. So this is eight of wands energy. It's conversation energy. Uh, it's this person really wanting to chat with you, talk to you, connect with you. So it's really telling you communication is coming. Um, it's telling you that they have this abandonment wound. This person has grown up with a certain sense of an abandonment trigger. And so a lot of times it makes them guard themselves, right? Like, so they don't react too high or too low. They try to keep things kind of even and in the middle, because if they get too excited, that's not great. If they get, you know, uh, too low, that's not great either. So this is very much sort of like in the middle you know, even the seven of pentacles is very much balanced. It's very much like recognizing one's own limits and accomplishments. This person knows themselves very well. So they have a plan coming um, or they had a plan at the time at which um, they began to think about uh, you and whatever message you said or whatever thing you did. Um, and so they want to give a little bit more after thinking about it. They're really like, do you know what? I should have given more. I should have been a little better. You know, Aquarius, that was cute of you. Whatever it is that you did, all I keep getting is that was cute of you. You know, that was, that was nice. That was cute. I want to give a little bit more. Six of Pentacles energy. Um, but this person is trapped, like in bondage, like thinking about, okay, how do I recover from that embarrassment? What was so embarrassing? <laughs> I mean, it's probably an internal embarrassment that you don't know that they have, but they're like thinking about it like, Ugh, ugh maybe I should have said this or maybe I should have done this. You know, it's really like annoying this person a little bit like, oh, why didn't I just, do you know what I mean? And now like, yeah, wow. Okay. This is the exact same position for you as it was with Capricorn just now. Um, so really this is talking about a new uh, a new face, <laughs> a new beginning. Some of, ooh, some of you are dealing with somebody who did get surgery, actually, uh, looking at all these swords and knives going under the knife is, is showing up here. And this fool is a brand new beginning. So a new face, a new beginning, or uh, this person just likes watching surgery on TV or something to do with surgery is showing up. Yeah. More surgery. So somebody here is having surgery, darling. Um, these, these swords and these knives and these positions with this full card is just striking me a lot about going under the knife. Uh, but anyway, they're most concerned right now. Brutally honest messages. Look, I embarrassed myself with that response and I still have love for you. That's queen of cups energy. So please forgive me. Uh, I know sometimes I'm awkward, but I just want you to know that I have emotions for you. Again, this person doesn't want to be brutal today. You, you guys, your signs don't want to be brutal with me anymore. They're just really talking about, you know, some surgery that they've had to go through or something to do with surgery or something, to, you know, something like that. And then they're talking about, you know, just a new face. So it could be a literal physical new face, or it could just be like a new face, a new, uh, something new is happening here. They're turning the leaf over and they're, you know, sort of making plans to give more than they gave to you last time. Cause they, this card is literally saying they really didn't even see the value. Like they weren't even thinking about it. And so now, you know, they're recognizing the value. They want to clear the air. Um, they think you're super cute and look at the conversation that's coming between the two of you. So that's your brutally honest message for today. It's not so brutal as it should be, you know? All right, Pisces, let's see. What are the brutally honest messages your person has for you today? The first two signs weren't so brutal. People didn't want to be brutal today. What's going on? Let's see. 
all right this is very incoming <laughs> you know this is hard and fast energy coming through uh in love tarot it represents a conversation that's about to happen so this person is eager to talk to you about something um i'm not sure you know what it is but they're slowly ooh, so they're slowly kind of working through how to lay it on you somebody is going to lay something on you in conversation slowly gently yeah this is conversation too swords rule logic communication conversation um this person wants to take hold of the way this connection has been going because they feel like it's just been sort of all over the place um they want to slow things down a little bit and just kind of have a think you know use their mental strength you see that's that's mental energy as well um it's interesting you know these messages are not brutal today this is love this is somebody saying hey you're in my wish for okay wait I was, I was, I was not trusting something here and the seven of swords came through. What is this person up to? Ah, Pisces, Pisces. The cards are saying, oh no, these are excellent cards. So let me tell you why that seven of swords show, showed up. Do you know that this person is wearing a mask? Do you know that like when you asked for conversation, you probably were very slow to get it. This person was either cutting you off or just not being available, not chatting, not talking, not, you know what I mean? Like just being very pulled away deep down inside. You see, this is a deep down inside card, a wish fulfillment. They literally actually wanted to open their mouth and tell you a little bit more. I keep getting tell you a little bit more. Do you know what they wanted to tell you a lot more about? Their feelings. This is the lovers. This person quite likes you very strongly, is in love with you. Ace of Cups, the lovers, they want to reconcile. Uh, they're pointing to something very passionate about you. They like the way you do something. Some of you are very artsy. Well, it's not, it's not, not a surprise, you're a Pisces. Some of you just, you know, you either cook very well, draw very well, you do something very well. And they love that. That thing that you do, whatever it is, it really turns this person on. And they're, they're talking about like a long-term commitment. Like, you know, it's really something that they desire and think about. And they've been manifesting because it would make them happy. But instead, you're not seeing that from them. You're thinking, wait, so if you want that, why are you acting why are you acting so slow? Well, you know, and that's what the mask is there for. That's what the seven of swords is there for. Cause it's like, really, this person just wants to get it on, but they're being defensive about, you know, this long-term commitment, this, you know, stability that they're really looking for. It's really bothering them actually. I mean, that's their brutal, honest truth. They're like, I don't know what it is why I can't get my words out to you, why I can't get my emotions out to you. I don't know why I block, literally in some cases, my feelings. You know, you see this blocking of these feelings? It's like, all I want to do is rush out and spill something out to you. I just don't know how. And this person is saying, if I can't communicate, you know, I'm just going to be here broken, depleted, and, you know, act like everything is fine. Meanwhile, look, that's a depletion. This is them, you know, really just tossing and turning. Like, I can't, Pisces, I cannot figure this out. I want to give more. I want to spill more. I want to say more. I want to do more. I want to grow more. But with you, there's a calculation here that is above me. This person is literally saying, this calculation is above me. I don't know. Um, and it's breaking my heart. This is a very deep pain it's a puncture it's a wound um because you know it, it it goes against their true wishes this is their true wish right here nine of cups energy and all this conflict and heartbreak these fives i told you are never so great in love tarot are blocking the sun for them who is the sun who is the sun tell me cards who is the sun for this person it's you. This is that in and out night that we saw earlier. The sun is you. They're saying that in and out connection that you guys have. Um, it's passionate, um, but they're things that are blocking them from saying something. So they've been breadcrumbing uh, instead of growing. 
They want this, but they give this, which is such a huge deficit. This is the deficit card. This is the conflict card, and this is the heartbreak that they feel about it. So they want to open up and talk and spill, and this is something that has been bothering them, blocking their sunshine. They're overthinking it, but I think they'll say something soon. I think there were enough swords present to indicate that they will say something soon, Pisces. Aries, what's your person's brutally honest message to you? We want it brutal, brutally honest. Well, it doesn't have to be brutal. It just has to be brutally honest. Well, this is very similar to signs before you because I already feel in this energy, this person saying, hey, I've been, you know, a lot defensive, um, but I'm thinking of you. You know, there's something here that connects us. Um and I think I've been fighting it. I've been fighting that feeling, fighting that familiarity. Like somebody's talking about how familiar you feel to them. You feel like home. You feel like childhood. You feel like um, something that they've waited for. You feel familiar. You feel you're comfortable. You're not, uh, well, you have fire, <laughs> right? They say, but still, even the way you yell reminds them of home, <laughs> reminds them of your parent. Um, that's weird. That's a weird message. Um, somebody's also saying that, so this strength card, yeah, it reminds them of somebody, you know, um, you're strong like their whom you're strong like their whom, who is it that you're strong? Like, hmm, somebody who really worked hard for their family. You must be a, a, somebody who's, um, very persistent. You have a good work ethic. Yeah, you get stressed a little bit, though. When you think about work, you get a little bit stressed. You stress yourself a little bit. But this person, is, these are interesting messages today because this person is actually giving you praise. And they're saying that that hard way that you are, that hardened way that you are, that thing that you have to do to keep yourself strong, don't think they haven't noticed it. They've noticed a quality about you that they find very strong, and they're saying that that quality to them feels very familiar. It feels like home. It feels like a person they know, you know, uh, in their family who worked very hard. Ace of Pentacles. Again, work coming out. Dang. Aries, how hard do you work? Because it, they're saying you have this particular steel inside of you. The way that you work. The way that you um, sustain yourself, you know. Whatever it is, it's like it reminds them, you know, of someone. It reminds them of home. It reminds them of how they grew up. And that's why they have this feeling for you that's very dear, that's very cute, that's very, um, you know, that's just there without, even, without effort. Right. Their emotions for you are coming because they've watched you, they've waited, they've seen you. Um, they don't typically let any old person in is what they're saying first off the bat oh well gee thanks for telling us that Aries's person who the heck are you <laughs> um I even saw three of pentacles just now at the bottom of the deck but yeah it's like that endears them to you it's like there's something about the way you just do your thing that they wish they had they don't have that quality um and they're missing that in their lives so you must be the type of person who meets people and influences them even if it causes conflict like you're like no 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 you know you help people change do you know that that's what this person is saying like you must whenever you're interested in somebody aries i think you sort of do things um that they admire you know and it helps them change but what happens is sometimes it causes conflict because that person is initially defensive like i don't who are you Aries? you know what i mean like they don't necessarily want to change, um, but then they see you almost like a goddess uh, later on because they realize everything you were saying was right. And if you leave, they then, you know, get heartbroken because you were passionate, you were energetic and you were right the whole time. But right now, some of you have left because you're saying, you know what, you need to stabilize yourself. This is very in and out. When you want a new beginning, I am Aries, right? This is really more like Sagittarius, but you all are fire signs. I am Aries, I am the goddess or the demigod, and you listen to me, not the other way around. So they're missing you right now because they're realizing, oh my God, why was I so defensive with Aries? All Aries was doing 
was being the same way either my mother, my father, somebody here that I really love was being with me when I was younger. Look at the you know older person and younger person making me stronger, making me work hard, making me think through things. That's all Aries was doing. Why was I so stubborn? And now they miss you. They want commitment, Aries. Look at that four of wands energy. So we shall see. Taurus, what are your person's brutally honest messages to you today? We want to make sure we get this in for you. We are on day 17 of our 30-day tarot challenge. This is the Queen of Swords. Um, starting, oof, I was just about to say that starting with that means your person wants to be starting something. Got to be starting at least something. Okay, so there's some competitive energy here, okay? Uh, those two queens together, I mean, this could be okay, but let's keep reading. You know, two queens, you know, you can't have two queens. Um, so this person is talking about, you know, a certain sense of competitiveness that you have felt that they've put you through or you've put them through. And they're not here to compete, um, whether it's with you or um, you feeling like, yeah, I was just about to say the cards are reading me, not me reading them. You feeling like you have to compete with some outside interference in order to get this person's attention. Um, they, they've they noticed, you know, that, um, you know, when you're not put first, whether this outside interference is a person, place, or thing, you don't like it. This is earth energy, queen of pentacles. You're an earth sign. So you have to have the attention that you feel you deserve for what you bring into this person's life. And when they divide that attention, you see this three, uh, it's you, this person and somebody else, um, you feel it and you start to feel like you are breadcrumbed by this person. And this person is so <laughs> into themselves that, you know, they don't necessarily feel like they have to change. They feel like it's very hard for them. It's very, I mean, it's, it's too much pressure for them to have to do anything different from what they always do. Um, I think this person is feeling themselves, you know, they're like, Hey, I am like this. I look like this. My family background. Oh, somebody here is really cocky. Their family background. Who is your family? Excuse me, somebody's family is just so highfalutin that this person feels like, you know, they are somebody and um, they don't necessarily wish to capitulate to Taurus's needs. Uh, they feel like they're the star. Wow. Taurus, you can deal with all that ego, can you? You can deal with all that ego. Okay. Well, you deal with it sometimes, some of you, because something physical and bedroom related here is so explosive, so juicy, it's so good. Um, this person is like a superstar in your eyes sometimes because they earn a lot, uh, but you guys are often stuck. Um, if they don't earn a lot, then they just attract a lot of attention from other people. Something about them is very magnetic. You have somebody with something quite magnetic about them. Yeah. Fiery energy coming through. This is back and forth, passion, conversation, very charming, magnetic character, possibly from a very good family background, hardworking. I think they earn. Yeah. For a lot of you, this person is an earner. Uh, they work hard for it. And so, yeah, that's why they're feeling themselves and they just feel like, Hey, you know, they're not going to stop. It's too hard for them to try to stop other people from being interested in them. And uh, they're very rudely saying, oh, please get in line. Well, I'm going to tell your person off, okay? <laughs> I was just about to tell your person off. <laughs> really, I was going to tell them off. But they said, listen, um, whatever sunshine, whatever happiness uh, that I can take from you, um, I will work my hardest to try to adjust. Now, I can't see it just yet, but I think it's coming. I don't know if it's because I threatened them, but they will send you a message that's a little bit of an apology. Uh, look at this showing up, this person, but they need to, you know, I, whatever background, class background, family background, whatever it is that they're boasting about, they need to watch their mouths over here. You can't see something coming. They're hiding something from you. It's just, it's 
probably going to be a surprise. It's a message about um, how they've acted like a, you know, D word, a douche uh, lately, but they're sorry. Uh, they know, they're very aware of their ego. I was just about to say, who is this person and why are they so egotistical? They get hung and stubborn and they think of themselves very highly and they're like, oh, get in line, you know, if other people are interested. I was just about to cuss them out and, you know, they know I'm crazy, so... <laughs> So they adjusted really quickly, Taurus. I took care of that for you. That's your brutally honest message. Gemini, what's your brutally honest message from your person to you? What's going on? What's the brutally honest message? Oh, you two are going through some stuff right now, you know? They're just really feeling heavy. They're saying every morning when they wake up, they feel very heavy. Um, because they're thinking about something that you two have discussed and it just like weighs on them in the morning. But they're still, they're still wanting to move forward. They're still wanting, yeah, they want a new beginning. They really just want happy times, light times, celebration. If they need to apologize, they will. Um, one or more persons here may have been involved with other people at some time, and that caused conflict, possibly a break in family, uh, nervousness, anxiety. They sent you a message, uh, or you sent them a message about love. It was like a love letter. Look at that showing up. With the cups as well like something here and then they kept you waiting on a response for that because you were like hey do you want to do this commitment this is a marriage card do you want to do this commitment or do you want to leave like what do you want to do and they were like well maybe i'll move forward maybe i won't and it was really back and forth i mean this is them really bringing heartbroken and then this is them um kind of trying to move forward this may also be them breaking your heart and making you feel badly and wake up waking up in the morning like hey when am I going to get over this scarring? But do you know what? This is somebody who is um, who who likes to leave the past in the past and sort of work things out. Um, they're under a little bit of stress right now, actually a lot of stress, just trying to figure things out in life in general and take actions where it counts. Um, they're, oof, wow. Wow. They've been going through some stuff and there's a cycle closing in their life. Hopefully it's not with you, but um, it's a tough time. Um, yeah, somebody here is really thinking about like the presence of others in this connection. Uh, and they want this closure issue that you two have to kind of come to an end. If you don't have this closure issue, it means something here has been going around for a while. You two have been going around a particular topic possibly not discussing it because you're both afraid of conflict. And this person is saying, hey, yeah, I think we're both avoidant of conflict. We don't talk about certain things that we should talk about, um, but I want to be a lot more mature. I want to really use my patience and wisdom, wisdom, patience, to kind of, you know, deal with every situation we get into, even if it's conflict-ridden, um, because usually I'm a runner. You two are distant from each other right now, either emotionally distant or physically distant. And they're acknowledging that. But they're saying patience is needed here because whatever happened with these threes popping up, three of swords, three of cups, it did cause a little bit of conflict between the two of you. Um, but they think that maturity, wisdom, patience, and time can actually solve whatever issue slowly. They want to move slowly is what they're saying. Time, slowly. There are too many threes present, so that tells me um, somebody here, whether it's platonic or romantic, um, has tried to come in between uh, this kind of commitment that they would have shown to you. Uh, this is a marriage card showing up, and uh, this person is actually uh, quite stressed by it because they have feelings for you. Okay, so this is very complicated. Some of you are not talking right now. Some of you, you know, you can expect for them to come around with this wheel moving forward and that chariot card. This is an ace so it's a new beginning and they're just stressing about how to get there. You make them very happy and they have good physical chemistry with you, they imagine. So a lot of you, uh, they're really just wanting this to be over so that they can actually physically go insane with you, okay? Wands energy taking action. That is your brutally honest message. Let's move on. Cancer, what is your person's brutally honest message to you? That's a bit of a doozy. Oh, okay. So you've had a, a very major disagreement with this person. Um, and they're thinking about it night and day. 
non-stop. Three in the morning, four in the morning, five in the morning, six in the morning, nine in the morning. Um, and some of you, this person has either threatened to be single or just gone all the way single at this point. Just independent, self-sufficient. Um, even if you're in a connection with this person, you're probably not as close right now because there there have been some daggers thrown. This person is saying there were daggers thrown um, and they've been doing a lot of self-reflection. This is a very, nine is a very independent, self-connected card. And just as I say that, another nine comes out. You know what else comes out? Another nine comes out. So this person has been doing a lot of self, self-reflection. The sun is a reflection, right? And I just talked about that. So the nines uh, are very important to this person right now. They're saying like, you were brutal to me actually, <laughs> you know, this is brutally honest messages from your person to you. And they're like, look, you were brutal to me. And even though I didn't like it, even though it caused me to feel this depression, sadness, all of that, I have to admit that like some of this stuff has been my fault. You know, a lot of this stuff has been my fault. So I've had to look at my own flaws, my own dark side, my own shadow side. You see the devil card. Um, and really manifest you back into my life. This is them manifesting because you're the only person who has had the guts to tell me such a thing, to do such a thing. Look at you, carefree. Um, and that's striking for this person. A lot of people don't sit and tell them off, you know, and tell them, look, look at yourself, look at your dark sides, look at your behaviors, your habits, your addictions, your obsessions, your everything. Look, take some, you know, Look, you did all the finger wagging, Cancer. You said, and another thing. <laughs> and this person said, wait a minute now. <laughs> right, like they pushed you away, just like these cards pushed you away. Like, wait a minute now. But you know what else it did? They said, wow, Cancer is strong. I'm in love. You see this Ace of Cups? This is emotion. It's a new beginning. It's strength. It's they're like, ooh. Cancer is beautiful. Now they're fiending. They're like, oh my God, how do I get more of that? You thought it was a bad thing when you told this person off or told them about themselves. It just kind of coached them, pushed them to see, you know, something that they had done wrong. You thought, oh boy, I guess it's going to be drama. I guess we're going to, it's going to be conflict. But really for this person, it was like, wow, the hammer is coming down. The judgment is coming down. Cancer is really setting me straight here. So I need to go and take my ego uh, bursting and do some self-reflection so I can turn back around and win cancer over. And I don't know, we're not doing your side today. Uh, it would have been interesting to know if cancer would have been open to that. We'll do it, you know, when we resume uh, those other star readings, but I don't sense that cancer <laughs> is amused because this person is like, okay, I'm doing all this self-reflection. Oh, this is a lot of self-reflection, nine of cups, nine of pentacles, nine of swords, a lot of inward self-work because this is an embattled individual. Do you know that you're dealing with somebody who's a bit embattled cancer? You know, they've got their own inner, inner demons. They have to kind of take care of. So they push people away, but honestly, they didn't push you away as, as hard as you think. They listened, okay? That's what they want to tell you. They listened to what you said, as brutal as it was, as shaky as the connection was. You left an imprint on their life, and they're going to change because they want to turn over a new leaf. They want literally, yeah, look at that new leaf turning over. Why? Because they're in love with you now. I think they're going to come back around and send you a message trying to reconcile, trying to move forward. And tell you, oh, you're everything. Look at that. Cups, energy, you're a cup. Uh, cancer, emotions. All these cups coming out. Um, because you set this person straight. Nobody's done that. Nobody said, hey, go do some self-reflection. Whatever it is that you said or did, it triggered a series of internal work with this person. And they're actually grateful. So that's their message to you. Let's have a look. Let's have a look, Leo. Let's see what's going on. What's your person's brutally honest message to you? Keep in mind, guys, there's always a bonus reading and a motivational talk at the end of the video. Let's have a look. 
What's your person's brutally honest message to you? Hello to my existing Schnookums. How are you doing? This is Schnookums Land. I'm the royal princess of Schnookums Land doing your reading today. Let's see. Speaking of princesses, the king is coming out. The high priestess is also coming out. Um, your person is saying, listen, <laughs> and I'm not going to really send this to you because I'm going to cuss them out for you. Don't worry. You know, I always have your back. I always have the back of the person I'm reading, but the, your person is saying, oh, you think you're all that. Look at that. King of wands, energy, fire, energy. This is really more like Sagittarius than you. Um, but it's a, it's a fire sign. You guys are fire signs. And this person Actually, as they're, you know, trying to say, oh, you think you're all that, they actually think you're all that. Do you see what I'm saying? I don't know why haters are always your biggest celebrators. Why are haters, can somebody answer for me in the comment section, why are haters secretly your biggest celebrators? Because as they're saying to you, oh, you think you're all that, you think you've got the power, you think you've got this, you think, they actually think that about you. Because if you take your presence away, they equal this. Nothing. Depletion. Done, 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 done. Like nothing. Just broken. And then when I shuffle the cards, all I'm seeing, you know, are cards of victory, winning, commitment, marriage. This is somebody who wants to grow with you. They're actually heartbroken when you're not around because you bring it. You bring your full energy. When you take your full energy away, this person feels it. Some of you have taken something from this person and instead of them to say, I miss you, they're saying, oh, you think you're all that. Oh, come on. Don't let me cuss your person out now. See this com competition between these two kings? Um, they're patiently waiting. It's a battle between two egos. Ooh. Ooh. It's a battle between two egos. Who's going to win out or whatever it is you guys are doing now. I think it's a silence war. For some of you, for others of you, it's some other kind of thing you guys are doing to see who wins out. Look at this. Didn't I just talk about a battle? And you've got five of pentacles and five of wands right on top of each other. So you two are really duking it out. Look, two kings duking it out. Two fives duking it out. What are you two, what are you two on about? Who wears the pants? Well, in this society, oh, a third king. I was just about to say, in this society, anybody can wear any type of pants. And rule any type of way. This is not, you know, gender is like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? I mean, obviously, I think people still have gendered roles and there is a, a place for certain, you know, gender roles in society. But in terms of wielding power, oh, honey, honey, power is power. The woman is the birth of the earth. Okay. How did you get here? What do you think that is? The whole world is round because it's an egg that was manifested by a woman. So let me tell you something. There is a power struggle going on here. And listen, if you are a man dealing with a straight woman, you better bow down because the, you're not going to win. You came from Mother Earth. Mother, not Father Earth, honey. The Earth is round like an round like an egg. You two are battling to win power. I don't know who's going to win. Um, and you, do you know what? If you are a woman dealing with a straight male, um, then you're going to be stuck on somebody's ego for a while. This is the hanged man. Um, now if this is any other type of relationship, I, I think there's some identity issues. Uh, so if this is uh, a relationship that's a same-sex relationship, which it could be because this is coming out as well. So across the board, no matter what kind of relationship is, it is, I see some gender identity issues coming up here. I see somebody struggling for power. Like what's the role again? Okay, fine. So this is correct. Uh, what's the role, you know, who's going to play? You see this juggling? You see this two of pentacles energy? Who's going to play what role? You know, um, how is this going to work? Like, you know, you have your ego and I have my needs. You have your way of doing things. You send me this sign. You act like you want to invest in me. But then, you know, sometimes you just leave me, leave me dangling like the hanged man and you expect me to chase you? 
So again, if it's a woman, it's like, you expect me to court you, you're the man, you court me. And if it's a man, it's like, you expect that I court you, you're the woman, you're supposed to say this. And you're... So I hear that conversation happening and it's really something that will need time. Your person is saying that they're thinking about it. You two probably may not be talking right now, but your person is still manifesting. And this relationship will change because of these major arcana, major shifts coming to this connection, even if it's not a relationship, okay? All right. Virgo, what are, wow, card fell down. Wow, so we'll see. We'll see what that means. Um, what are your person's brutally honest messages to you? Stick around always. End of the video after Sagittarius. There's a bonus reading and a motivational talk. Hello to my existing schnookums. This is the royal princess of schnookums land. Just reading for you guys. <laughs> How are you guys doing? All right. So this is starting out with a Knight of Swords energy and a Star card. Okay. Initially, I was going to say, hey, you know, uh, Knight of Swords maybe. Okay. So in this position, it's a little bit talking about, this is talking about really, so it could be two things. And I'll, I'll, I'll throw more cards and, and find out exactly what energy I'm trying to, uh, what, what energy this person is trying to give. But for a lot of you, there could have been some sort of argument that they're healing from, right? Because this star card, you could be their wish fulfillment, but they're also sort of healing from something that could have been said, okay? Um, this, I don't think this person is very argumentative normally, but yeah, they need to heal. So, so somebody is not talking. Somebody has gone inwards to heal now, silence, just like, okay, I need to regroup. Um, I'm bigger than this. Like this person is literally saying, I am bigger than this. Um, and they're not giving you a particular type of attention. You know, this star card loves attention and this person is refusing to hand it over to you. Um, but there's some sun coming, but, you know, this, it's just that this connection goes in and out. So I don't necessarily see this conflict as being major though. I think this is still a connection that is you know, a little bit about two people being somewhat gripped by each other still, like you still have like this thing, like something, there's, there's some sparks here actually. Yeah. You're fond of each other. These are memories. Um, I just think something moved really quickly. I think something moved quickly and stopped. I feel like this started that way. It was like a combustive energy that was like, yay, who is this person? See, this is victory. Um, and this person is like, you are my passion. Something about you ignites me. This is a King of Wands energy. And I want to reconcile with you, um, because this is what I feel. They feel really, they did not expect, I feel like this person didn't expect these emotions for you and vice versa. And I think you two just started talking. Look, you didn't even know that this was coming. King and queen of swords. You started talking and somebody here, I don't know if they were taken or if they just didn't know what was going to happen, right? They, they didn't even trust this. Next thing you know, by talking, you two began to manifest something between yourselves. And it, it went from this smaller energy, this promise of an energy, this new beginning, this ace into this full blown 10. And... <sighs> I think the fire got too hot or something. There was some competition here. And you two got into a space of not talking. High Priestess, Four of Swords, Energy. Now this person wants to think about it and reconcile because I think they're trying to talk about a spark. Star card, an energy that's not dying. It's very much alive. Yeah. This person very much, this is, wow, this is a very beautiful reading. It's poetic. They're saying, my love for you is still undying. My connection with you was a spark. And that flame has not been put out. This is fire. And it, it that spark happened because of a conversation. Both of you were talking about something. Look at this. This is crazy. Who is this? This is marriage energy. Commitment. Long-term stability. This person really has been daydreaming about you quietly in terms of partnership in the long term. It's so romantic. Oh my God, this is beautiful. And this is kind of you too in the magician energy. Yeah, they're passionate. They want to win. They want to move forward with you. Oh my God, this is honest. 
when they lay their soul naked from coming out of this hermit space, all they think about is you, the strength of you, the scent of you. And it's very hard for them because they want to access you in a certain way. And it's been hard for them. Uh, somebody here could have already been married or this person literally wants to marry you. Like when they think about it, you're like that kind of candidate and they daydream about it and they want to move forward. But something here is like so shy it's so like, I don't know, it stops a little bit. So you can't, you know, because they don't know if they can trust their feelings. Because how did it go? Because this person is sitting and asking themselves, like, how did it go from this to this, this start, this beginning where I was just kind of crushing on Virgo to this magnified thing? What's going on? So they think about when they first met you a lot. And they think about what sparked that conversation, swords rule conversation. And this is a spark. Um, they think of you very highly and they're trying to manifest you. They want to win with you. If they're not speaking with you, which some of them are not. Again, high priestess, four swords, energy is not really a lot of speaking. They certainly will send you a message soon. Um, and you can see from this king and queen of wands energy that they are very much sparked into you. These are very, it's a divine counter partnership. Um, and again, you two just have a beautiful conversation together. Wow. Okay. So that was very nice for a brutally honest message reading because brutally honest messages are supposed to be brutally honest. All right, moving on. Libra, one of the brutally honest messages your person has for you today. Let's make it really truthful card. Please give us the truth. This one is talking about truth, right? Okay. Wow. Wow. What? Really? So Libra, I just finished doing Virgo and that was beautiful. Now yours is about to top it. This person really literally is thinking about commitment with you. Um, you probably don't even believe it because it's so hyperbolic. Like why uh, start with this? Ah, now I see. So this is a marriage card in tarot when we're doing love tarot because uh, this can mean many things, but for love tarot, this is about marriage and commitment. Now, somebody here, when you met them, you were so sure that your connection with them was going to lead to commitment. It fell through because somebody here gave more than the other person. This person is feeling a little bit of heartbreak and shame because instead of giving more, they stayed solo, single, and selfish. It was very self-centered and they realized that. Somebody feels like they've lost you in a certain type of way. It's breaking their heart. It's breaking their, oh, okay. So these two are comp competing with each other. What is that? Oh, okay. So communication is coming. They're definitely going to reach out and talk to you um, because you two have been silent. This has been a silence competition. Who's going to look at the competition? Two kings there. Who's going to win out? But they're going to approach you because they feel like you're on their mind too much. You're the justice card, right? You're also the empress card. These two cards represent you in tarot. And like this person is really sick and tired of the silence. They just don't want to do it. Um, because you, you're, you, wow, you make this person that happy. So you seem to be unique. I think this person has done some reflection and thought <laughs> Libra is a defining moment. Libra is the moment, but not just the moment, but the defining moment. You are definitive in this person's eyes. Yes. Yes. This is it. Two of cups. So somebody here must have looked and looked and searched and searched and then thought, wait, hold on. I'm doing something silly. I better think, rethink this because without Libra, my heart is aching. It's stressful. There's a burden here. You, you came into this person's life and just like opened up an area of their heart, mind, thinking, soul, self-reflection that they hadn't really done before. Um, and when you, when they, when they encountered you, they were giving you ambivalent energy because they were like, well, what the heck is wrong with this type of person? Right. They were so blocked. They were like, what's wrong with Libra? Why does Libra give so much? You know what I mean? And they thought they were going to go look for other people and just, you know, they weren't even thinking about it. They're like, okay, you're a creature who is wonderful, but I'm going to just do my thing. I'm going to, you know, and guess what? They're riding back around. Knight of Cups, really in love with you, obsessed with you now. You, you've now... You've now become an obsession. This person is at your mercy and at your worship. They are wor worshiping this goddess. Even if you're a man, this is a goddess energy. It represents Libra in tarot, the empress, as well as the justice. They, you've now created an obsession in this person's mind. 
they they will not stop they're coming after you darling uh, because the memories keep playing they want to reconcile they're trying to manifest you and it's been some time now so they really have to work up this apology even if their <laughs> ego is fighting with them um, but the thing is they can't let you go they can't release you all they want to do is match this emperor to this empress which is a dual energy these are divine counterparts they're in love with each other this person has waited a long time they've tried to be defensive it's not working so they need to work out this apology um you know and see how they can reconcile something with you even if you guys have had an argument and they've gone silent it's like they're recognizing that they cannot compete with you in order to really show you what they feel they have to give a little bit more and stop being in limbo stop being indecisive stop acting single self-sufficient solo away from you and start recognizing that you have brought a light into their life that has made them think about commitment with you and made them think about how their heart breaks when they can't talk to you. Because quite frankly, this person is in love. They're obsessed. They're obsessed. I'm sorry. Even if you just met them, they are obsessed. Okay. Moving quite along. Scorpio, your person's brutally honest message to you. Whoa. Zaddy. <laughs> All right. That's King of Cups energy showing up there. Um, you're a water sign too. And you know, cups are water. Mm, this is somebody who has been folding in their love for you. Uh, you know, it's probably putting on a few pounds on them, honestly, because I don't see how somebody can just hold in their feelings and their communication for that. Look, just holding it in, pretending pretense. Why? For what? The ego is that strong. Everything they've written to you, it seemed, it seems like, oh, I don't really care. I can cut anybody off. I can, you know, look at me. I can wield my sword. Oh, I can say whatever. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine without you. Hang on. <sighs> These cards are frustrating. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, they're wishing for you. They've not shaken you yet. They were acting big, bold, tough. Um really like they could really handle whatever being closed off blocked possibly even blocking you for real or vice versa somebody that was unblocking here um and it's like that big bold toughness is just a facade because literally every day as the wheel turns every day on this calendar this person is thinking about you but see, their pride, the high priestess pride is preventing them from saying to you, ooh, king of cups energy. You know what the king of cups is? King of love. Look at that nine of cups. Also wish fulfillment energy. You're in their wish fulfillment, but they cannot release their ego to something um, because they feel like if they do, then they lose a particular way that they look in your eyes. Um also, they're acknowledging the connection was a bit wobbly. It went in and out. It was, it was like a start-stop thing. Why is it starting and stopping so much? What is it that it will take to move forward? You know, is it the dissip dissipation of the ego? Well, that's what this person is asking. You know, they're trying to manifest like, okay, the answer. What is the answer? What will start? What will heal this start-stop element of this connection? Um, that's the brutally honest question that they have because argumentation has happened here wow okay didn't didn't see that coming um yeah there's been some some sort of back and forth argumentation battle in and out energy or somebody just simply speaking a little too bluntly speaking their mind turning the other person off um and now your person is like okay i need to reconcile i need to kind of rethink my words take that back and they're struggling <laughs> The ego is really struggling to kind of like take certain words back, but they want this with you. So how are they going to get to that? That is a marriage card. That's commitment. That is, you know, and it's actually a deep desire of this person. If, if you think about this person intuitively, this is their instincts and their intuition. If you even try to tap into their energy, you will feel a certain type of vibration. Close your eyes and tap into them and you will feel the vibration of their emotional connection to you. Um, but they're just too stubborn. Like they're competing. You two are, are playing a silent game here and seeing who's going to win, right? Those two kings competing with each other, trying to see who will win. Again, silent, staying silent, 
so that you can win. It's a very interesting, um, it's a very interesting battle, very interesting conflict. This person is, at the end of the day, they're battling themselves by being defensive. Yeah, I told you something here was not to be trusted because it's they're showing you a certain side. Meanwhile, they're in love with you. They want commitment. That's the marriage card. But they're showing you this push-pull energy, this battle, this in and outness, uh, this defensiveness, and this silence because they're blocked emotionally. Um, they don't want to be hurt. They don't want their ego to fall. Um, and the, but the real feeling when you take away this facade they're putting up is that they're thinking about you night and day, nonstop, despite whatever argument, exchange of words, whatever was said, their wish fulfillment is connection with you. This is marriage and this is marriage. These are two tremendous marriage cards, tremendous commitment cards, even if not marriage, that is still, they, those cards are still in their manifestation, along with reconciliation, you being a soulmate energy in their framework, and they're thinking about it. They want the wheel to change. These are incredible, incredible cards, major arcana, except for this one. one. But this is a huge, major card. But I'm just saying all of these are major arcana cards. Something major, something major, a, seismic, a seismic shift is coming, and it's a brand new beginning, passionate brand new beginning between the two of you coming, whether you two like it or not. Hello, Sagittarius. Let's figure out your person's brutally honest message to you. This is Shnookum's Land. Hello, fellow princes and princesses. Um, let's get started here. Your person is brutally honest message to you. Okay, so you have told this person that they are hard to love. That's a little brutal from you, Sag. Like, you've made this person feel like, okay, it's hard to have a connection with them anyway. I feel like somebody giving up, if I'm honest. They're like, listen, if I'm so bad, why do you want me? That's what this person is saying. In fact, moon energy why question mark hidden what's you know what is the secret why if i'm so because this person feels like you've made them feel like they are tough to reconcile with yeah it breaks their heart at, at some point this person is human right they're not a caricature they're not just you know somebody you can just talk about like a caricature they're just like um okay fine i'm terrible so why do you want me why am I still in your mind? Why am I still here? Why am I, you know what I mean? And I hear that repeated conversation. So nine is a very self energy in tarot. Those numbers usually involve the self and this person repeats. Yeah. Like why, 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 why? And they just want their peace. They want their healing. This is often a red cross card. If we find it in the other deck, you'll see that that is a red cross. That's somebody who's like, okay, we've played this game. Um, this is reconciliation. This is reconciliation. This fairness. Something here was unfair. They feel like they were unfairly judged. Okay. They were unfairly judged. There was a conclusion that was made about this person that they don't feel was fair and they want a redo. Boop. That's the restart button. They're like, can we have a redo? Because I feel like you unfairly judged me. And I feel like even though sometimes you say stuff about me, you actually want me because I'm fine. Oh, this person is so sassy and so rude, but you like it because it turns you on. Okay. This person wants to give you something, um, or at least be a, a little bit more charitable when dealing with you more balanced, more mature. Ooh. Oh, so this person is in some kind of mood today, some kind of mood. Cause they're not battling you. They're loving you. Look at that. Emperor Empress just came out amazing divine couple. I think this person is saying something even deeper than I, I thought. They're saying, if you don't love me, then leave me alone. If you don't like me, leave me alone. But I know what I want. I know I've seen you as very attractive for a while. And just because I'm not perfect doesn't mean I can't work at it. Doesn't mean I can't give. It's just I'm broken. I have traumas. I have baggage. I'm not perfect. And I mess up. Um, but you're still on my mind. And some of them are saying, I guess I'll have to wait. I guess this is a waiting game between the two of us because you unfairly judge me or maybe I unfairly judge myself. Unfairly judge myself. Right now, you two are kind of distant emotionally and or physically. There's some distance here that has to be tackled. And uh, this person doesn't know how to win it. They don't know how to tackle it. 
All they know is that commitment has been on their mind with you and it's been really tough. And you are in their wish fulfillment, even though one or more of you have cut each other off and this has been in and out. You have a closure issue. Some of you think this is completely done with and some of you think there's still hope. And that clearing of the air is something that this person thinks needs to happen. It's just they're saying both of you are guarded. When you stop being guarded, this person wants to think about a connection with you that's emotional. They want to do the do. They want to tell you how they really feel. And that is your reading. Amazing Empress and Emperor energy together. Somebody here has emotions for you. They just think that you judge, 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 put them down, break their heart, and it doesn't inspire confidence in them, even if you think that they're the ones at fault. All right. Let's do the bonus reading. How has your person been doing since you have... Uh, when you're not around, how, how does your person feel? If you when you when you disconnect or leave your person, how, how does that make them feel? Do they care at all? Um, what do they want from you? It makes them feel imbalanced, ambivalent. Um, it starts small. You know, they're like, okay, I guess this is another one bites the dust. And then they start to detach themselves. They start to work on that detachment. They're like, okay, so this person has left or this person has treated me this way. It's causing me a little bit of imbalance. I'm going to try to be strong and I'm going to try to create emotional distance. But you know what happens? They start ruminating, thinking of you, going back into time and wondering, okay, uh, how do we get this back? How do we get this back? I knew it was I knew it was going to start small and balloon. I just knew it. I don't know how I knew it, but that's what happens. It's when when it starts, it's like, okay, I'm ambivalent. I guess I'll just take this L, make this decision, move right along. And then they start to work on it. Like, I'm gonna create distance. I can do this. I can create emotional distance, physical distance. I just will stop talking in some cases. I'll just like remove myself. And then they start going, Oh God, I miss you. Come back. And it bothers them. Eight of Swords energy, all they want when this Eight of Swords is done, when this waiting is done, all they want is to talk to you again. All they want is for somebody to give in. All they want is reconciliation. All they want is literally this love. Soul contract, something about you is still active in them. This is the marriage card, Hierophant energy, talking about commitment, wanting you not to leave. Are they going to say it? We don't know. This person can sometimes be blocked. They can sometimes go through anxiety and anger issues. If they overcome it, then yes, this is talking, this is conversation, but they have to overcome this heartbreak in order to get to this fulfillment. Um, motivational talk for today, guys, what is it going to be? Listen, I guess it'll just be on this 30 day tarot challenge that I've decided to do. Um, you know, as busy as I've gotten, something about doing things in 30 day increments and having people, you know, hold you accountable to it just makes you do it. And it's such a, a gimmicky, lovely thing for any area of your life. Um, even when you're in pain, I was talking to somebody who had just been through a heartbreak and I said to the person, Hey, why not? Listen, I said, I'm doing this thing on my on my tarot channel. Um, my tarot channel was really supposed to be an experiment. I don't know. Now it's like a job. Um, and I said, the thing I love about it is that I can't miss a day as busy as I am. I, I really can't, I can't, my brain, I cannot do it. I'm just not wired that way. I can't, I can't, I will make time to push something out. And I said, can you think of anything, even in your heartbreak that would help you to be committed in some way to pushing something out so that you can get an end result within 30 days. And, you know, it's funny, you know, through the heartbreak and through all of that, this person was able to say to me, do you know what? I actually think I'm going to do a 30 day um, challenge around food, you know, just not eating anything that, you know, I'm allergic to, like I'm intolerant of basically, because a lot of us are intolerant of things and don't even know it. Like, you know, I was like, I just stopped eating dairy. I didn't really, you know, I was just vegetarian. I wasn't vegan. I stopped eating dairy. And I was like, let me try it again. Cause I tried a couple of times to be vegan. And I was like, okay, you guys are just doing this drastically much, you know, stop it. 
and I just stopped eating dairy and, you know, it was going to be for 30 days. I was like, wait a minute. This is my, my stomach is, is, is better. My, you know, I'm feeling better. Something, I was like, okay, so this doesn't sit with me. And then it became a thing. And I think just what I would say, just motivationally is just try that, try something for 30 days, um, that has an outcome that you can measure. Um, see how you feel, note the changes, note what's happening, note what's, you know, measurable. Like for this 30 day challenge, I'm sure I can measure the, you know, that there would probably be more views because there are more videos, for example, um, in her intolerance food, you know, challenge, you know, she can measure how much, um, weight she's lost, for example, right? Like just kind of eating very strictly for 30 days, nutritionally, more vegetables, more this, more that. And I love that. You guys know I'm, you know, a health and food and all of that type of person. And I love that she told me that. I love when people listen to me because it's so, I'm like, listen, guys, I have more wisdom than I care to listen to because I need to take my own advice sometimes. So somebody got to use this da daggone thing. <laughs> um, so when somebody uses it, it, even if it's not me, it's such a beautiful thing. And anyway, uh, I thought, do you know what? 30 days, even if it's seven days, even if it's four days, even if it's just a set period of time with a measurable goal, um, always seems to yield something. Uh, when you look up for those of you in business school or who've taken business classes or marketing classes, um, S M A R T smart goals. When you look up something smart, right? The M in smart, Google that if you need to is for measurable. So don't just do a 30 day challenge to be doing it. Make sure that it's measurable. Make sure that you can start at point A end at point Z and say, wait a minute, something here in time has been accomplished. I've worked really hard and I have accomplished something. At the end of this 30 day tower challenge, I've accomplished an increase in views. At the end of her challenge, she's accomplished a five kilogram weight loss, which is about, uh, I think 10 pounds, 11 pounds. I don't know. I can't stand kilograms. I don't know. I don't know why it exists. Um, sorry. I grew up in the United States. So, um, yeah, the kilogram thing drives me absolutely nuts. So anyway, yeah, let me know what you think you want to work on in terms of your 30 day challenge and see if it works out for you, but just make sure it's measurable. You have a measurable outcome. All right. That's my chat. Catch you guys later.